Begin your twice turn blind hem by turning up your sample fabric one half inch and pressing across the span. You can measure the one half inch at the beginning, middle and end, or you can do it on either side of your fabric and then sort of connect the dots with the iron from end to end. Next, you'll be turning up the fabric again for the twice turn up one inch. Use your ruler to make sure that you're consistent. And so the first turn of the cloth is a half of an inch and the next is one inch. Now you can head over to your sewing machine and remove your regular presser foot and put on the edge foot. This might be a clip-on or it might be a totally separate foot. Make sure that your threads are off to the side and you are going to press the blind hem button. On some of, it, some of your machines it will be number seven, on others it might be a different number. Next, like we did with the serge and blind hem, you are going to be placing three pins a quarter inch down from the turn of the cloth. One at the beginning, one at the middle, and then one at the end. This is going to help us so that we're turning the cloth the correct amount. And a quarter inch tends to be the correct amount. After you've pinned your fabric in place, you're going to fold the fabric back so that quarter inch line is showing. And then you're going to line up the metal gauge on the edge foot with the turn of the cloth on your fabric. Now, as you begin stitching, there will be a straight stitch that goes on the right side of your fabric and then it's going to zigzag over to the left side. When it's zigzagging over to the left side, it should be catching just a little bite of the fabric. If it's catching too much, you'll see a large um, bit of thread when you turn it inside out. And then if it doesn't go over far enough, you won't see anything at all. So if this is the case, you may have to either adjust where the edge foot is lining up or how wide your zigzag is. After you've cut your threads, head over to the iron and press your seam flat. And then you can check to make sure that the blind hem was caught everywhere. You can do this by running your finger across the inside of the fabric. And you can also make sure that the bites that you're looking at are not too small or not too big. You've now completed your blind hem stitch with a twice turn.